Mic check, one, two, one, two. Can you hear it? My name is Cyprian, and I'm bald. For so many years, I tried to hide it. I noticed people try to hide it too. So, I'm gonna show you how I've embraced it. Now I got a brush where I have hair. <laughs> Usually trim the neck a little bit. Alright. Welcome to the Pepto Bismol room. The Pink Panther. You probably cut that out. you're wondering, this is a uh, organic olive oil in a spray can. Don't really know the brand. Uh, I noticed years ago when my hair started thinning out, my scalp would get really, really dry. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about what do I apply to the scalp so that it can be nice and healthy. Uh, so it can stay moisturized. I also use grapeseed oil. I'm gonna throw that in there, show you how it plays into the mix. Um, don't use a very uh, <laughs> don't use a very expensive blade or guard. I got this for like 13 bucks, I believe. So I turn the guard all the way up to get a nice close shave. And then I just follow along with my hands. Start all the way from the bottom of my neck. Try to make nice closed lines. I overlap sometimes to make sure that I can catch everything. You don't want to have a nice bald head and a dirty neck or a hairy neck, not dirt. Hopefully, you don't have a dirty neck. <laughs> so, again, I'm overlapping, making sure they keep nice, tight lines. Follow along with my other hand. Sometimes I also use another mirror, but I, I broke the other mirror. Okay, now this is the part where I take off my glasses because I need to take off my glasses to cut. That part of my hair, this is the part of my hair that goes right into my sideburns and into the beard. But if I take off my glasses before then, I won't be able to see because I'm blind as a bat. Before I used to try every shortcut, like I'll go to the barber and ask for every short haircut imaginable. I started balding at like 19, which 
was not a good look. I mean, my hair started thinning at 19. And I, I didn't feel confident. I didn't think anyone could look good bald. Like, your hair is a big part of who you are. It's a big part of you. It's a big part of your confidence. And to me, at 19, that was just scary. I was like, oh, man. Halfway through, I try, I try to brush out some of the hair that's loose. Again, to keep it nice and clean. And to minimize any patches. Brush the hair off the blade. Keep the blade nice and tight at the top. Flick it this side, keep it nice and tight. And... Now that I'm at the part where it's thinning out, and you get to the part where like my hairline has been disappearing. At a certain point, I go against the grain. Uh, like like I said before, I'm not a barber. I don't have like a license in this. This is just what I do. It just kind of fits my hair. But if you're looking for a starting point, try that because this is a lot harder to keep nice and clean because it's just little patches and little like hair growth or lack of hair growth so just be patient with that area go against the grain don't lift the blade off of the, your, your scalp and just scratch it up Make sure you get all the patches. Always use your other hand to kind of follow and guide and kind of check to see where there's any bumps or missing spots. One last pass through. Make sure you go against the grain some parts. Some parts you go with the grain. The idea of this last pass through is just to really get everything covered. Make sure you keep your sideburns even. You don't want to have one end of your sideburns looking like you did something and the other end looking super low. So you just then eventually I'll show you the beard care. This is mainly to make it look clean so that you don't look like you trimmed you don't look like you just shaved your head and left your neck all dirty just do the same thing they do with the barber I like to use witch hazel cause it's kind of, it's more natural and then voila you're done so if you like what you see, you can like, comment, subscribe somewhere below. Um, feel free to share your stories. Let me know. Let me know if it works. We can share stories back and forth. Thanks for watching.